Just a few years ago, people from all over the world were coming to America to get the best education available. What happened? According to government statistics available on the Index Monday website, the literacy rate of California is lower than Mexico. In fact, in Los Angeles County is so low that it's comparable to many Central African countries like Burundi or the Congo. Why isn't the mainstream media talking about this appalling scandal? We ask international security expert Alex Alexiev to explain what has happened and what impact this will have on America's future. California, over the past uh, uh, 20 years or so, has become one of the less literate states in the Western, uh, in the Western community, in, in the, in the uh, uh, developed, in the developed world. And, and how that's possible is, um, you know, it's, it's something that our society should be concerned about. Concerned is right. How did this happen, we ask him. He blames our lax immigration policies. Uh, the fact is that we have been importing into this country or letting in the lowest 10 percent of, of Mexican society. About 82 percent of, of the illegal aliens in California are from Mexico. I would have no problem if we import as many as we can from the top 10 percent of Mexican society because they will improve, they will really make an economic contribution. These are people what, uh, that have what the economists call human potential, human capital. The human capital uh, is a, uh, something you, you basically get through education. Uh, if you don't have education, you don't have it. In other words, your potential is very low. If you come to the United States Ill illiterate in, in Spanish, you will never be literate in English. It's just the way it is. It's not possible. We have been importing millions and millions of essentially illiterate uh, immigrants. And when they come to this country and settle down, uh, unfortunately they don't become any more literate in English than they were in Spanish. Full Disclosure has been investigating immigration policies for decades. Here's a short clip from an interview we conducted in 1997. It shows exactly what Alex stated. Margarita, and you have just become an American citizen. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And you don't speak any English yet? No. <laughs> well, you can speak to us in Spanish, and we're going to ask your brother to interpret for us. Um, would, okay, well, maybe you can. Right. Um, uh, I'll ask her how she became a citizen without speaking English. ¿Cómo fue que usted se hizo ciudadana sin, hab sin hablar inglés? Porque así podía hacerlo. She, she could do it like that because they have a program of how many years you've been in this country. They allow you to take the test in Spanish. And los años que ya tenía aquí, ya tengo 28 años, pero no pude ir a la escuela y tuve que hacerlo en español. She's been here for 28 years and she couldn't go to school. So um, she was able to, to become a citizen because she's allowed to do that. There's a special provision because of her age. Right her age and the time that she's been here. Here in America for 28 years and still not functioning in English. And the result is, is truly tragic and it's even more tragic that we don't, we don't talk about it. We close our eyes to a situation that is untenable. Uh, California today has a uh, adult illiteracy rate, adult meaning over the age of 15, of 23 percent. According to government, U.S. government statistics, uh, this is a lot more than Mexico itself. Mexico has an illiteracy, adult illiteracy of 13.9 percent. Ironically, the reason that Mexico is now more literate than California is because they basically exported all of the illiterates to, to California. Uh, and there are actually counties in, in uh, the worst one is uh, Imperial County. Uh, down south, uh, which I think it has four, over 42 percent adult illiterate, which means that practically every second adult is illiterate. I mean, where, where does a sophisticated economy go with, with uh, illiteracy like that? 
California illiteracy rate is not only higher than Mexico, it's even worse when we compare California to the rest of the developed world. If we were an independent country, we'll be in place 151 out of 205 countries. We'll be out there at the very bottom of literate, literate societies. Uh, and it actually gets worse because in places like Los Angeles County, which is where we are uh, right now, uh, illiteracy rate is 33.5%. Wow. Uh, if you go to, to um, uh, there are any number of, of websites that, uh, that have figures on adult illiteracy, there's uh, one good one called Index Mundi, uh, and they list all 205 countries in terms of their literacy. Um, and you, Los Angeles County would be at the bottom, bottom 35 or so countries, uh, right along places like Burundi, Congo, uh, Uganda. It is really a scandalous, scandalous situation. Uh, and and uh, nobody, nobody really does anything about it, and, and people are afraid to talk about it. Stanley Scheinbaum has served for years on the California University Board of Regents. He knows the critical importance of having a literate and informed voter base. In order to be a, an educated public, the people, if you don't mind my saying so, who vote, uh, and they're voting in a democratic system, you want them voting for the people who have the interests of the public at heart, not just their own careers. The public, if they are to vote properly, have to be kept informed. Alex is very disturbed by the pending federal legislation S-744, the Border Security, Economic Opportunity, and Immigration Modernization Act. Regardless of what the bill supporters say, he considers it amnesty in disguise. And to think that you could change this for the better by, uh, by giving, giving them uh, uh, an amnesty and making them citizens, it's, a, it's, a really, it's, a illu it's an illusion, a dangerous illusion, because I think it will it'll make certain that uh, states that are right now they're swing states would move, move to the Democratic column, and you will have what has already happened in California, uh, L.A. County, uh, one-party rule. Uh, California no longer has a two-party system. Uh, they, they, they're still uh, Republican pockets here and there, but the, the uh, state as such uh, is essentially a one-party jurisdiction. So the Democrats have a clear, advan a clear interest in, in not only letting the illegal aliens in, but eventually amnestying them, making them citizens, and therefore reaping the benefits of, of a major, uh, major new um, Democratic voter base. Alex sees dire consequences if the federal bill is passed into law. If, uh, if this bill is passed, uh, and what it intends to do is provide amnesty and citizenship to 11 million, I think, for one thing, California becomes forever and ever one party state. It, it will not change. And it will it'll go down economically because you cannot have a state with such large millions of illiterate people that, that, that can succeed. That's, the, the requisite human capital is simply not there. Immigration has always existed, and this country has, has profited from it over the years. But what we're talking about here is a population transfer. This is not immigration. You have such huge numbers that they no longer feel the need to, uh, um, to integrate into, into society because there's so many of them and they are uh, soon going to be a majority in, in, in California. Uh, why should a younger um, population that is the majority want to integrate into an older population that's a minority? It's never happened in the history of the world. Um, that's simply the way it is. 
it, just like in, in Europe, the Muslims have no desire to, to integrate in European society. Uh, and you, you have the same thing happening here. I mean, Los Angeles is, is now the second largest uh, Mexican city. And it's not, and it's not uh, I don't see any uh, integration happening here. If you have 33.5% uh, adult illiteracy, this means that, that one third of the population is no longer, is no longer English speaking. This is, this is a, an alien population. We want to know what you, the viewers, think. Please respond by adding your comments below. Do you think that passing a massive immigration bill, which in the end will mean amnesty for millions of illiterate people, will be the ruin of our country? Please be sure to leave your comments below. You can see the full hour interview with Alex here on Full Disclosure. I'm Leslie Dutton. Thank you. Mm -hmm.